Hello everyone, this is Robert from Wonderlust. I got this WeBoost Drive 4GX cell signal booster. We do a lot of camping up in the Blue Ridge Mountains and some of these areas cell service is very poor. So we're hoping that this is going to uh, enable us to use our cell phones, our iPhones, primarily for internet connection. So here's the unit. It's got an input for an outside antenna. That's the power input. 12 volts inside antenna. So here's the power source. Plugs into uh, your basic cigarette lighter. We have one where this is going to get mounted. Interior antenna, velcroed, mounted under the cabinet right above the area where we use our computers. And this is the uh, exterior antenna, pretty small, magnetic, mounts on top of a car. We're going to use this strictly on the car. I got this larger antenna for, uh, this is designed for RVs or truckers. It has a mount designed to mount on a mirror on the tractor trailer. That gets mounted on there. But I'm going to take this plate off and mount it on the back wall of our J feather. Feed the wire through a cabinet and into the area where that's going to be mounted. So we're going to uh, Lake Powhatan this weekend up in Pisgah National Forest and we know that cell service there is very poor. So this will be a great test. Hopefully it uh, makes an improvement. We will see. I had to get longer screws. Ones that came with it. About a half inch too short. I went to Lowe's and got a two and a half inch screw. Okay, four holes. I'll need to drill one more under there once I get this mounted. I have some white silicone I'll use to uh, seal this up. Good to be prudent. Okay, get the hardware on the inside. <clears throat> This is where the four screws came through in our linen closet. So I'll put the hardware on. Wires run through, chase, cover installed. Got it running through the wall into the cavity that houses the stereo. cell booster will get mounted in there plugged into that outlet this is the bracket that will hold the booster snaps in place this is the inside antenna not sure where I'm going to mount that yet so the exterior antenna comes through this hole here up into there. This is the uh, power supply. It plugs in there and there's a switch, an off switch. That's cool. I don't know that. Tomorrow we're going to see how this thing does and I will report back.
There's Miss Tara in her spot. Saturday morning, Lake Powhatan. Beautiful day, 71 degrees. There's the Wee Boost antenna. Works great. There's Gail sitting at her desk grading papers. So how's that working? The new booster is great. Last time we were here I spent the whole day at Starbucks and I love Starbucks but we're yeah. camping. I want to be in the woods. Yeah. So it's great. It's midterm grades have to get in so I'm a happy camper literally. There you go. Say goodbye Gail. Bye everybody. Here's a couple of screenshots of my iPhone. So without the WeBoost, we had one bar of extended 1X and couldn't use the phone, couldn't use email, couldn't get on the internet at all. Uh, you could maybe send a text. So with the WeBoost, we got two bars of LTE 4G. We did discover that uh, placing the iPhone right next to the interior antenna gave the uh, best uh, reception. The further you got away from the interior antenna, uh, the worse the reception. We could not be more pleased with the WeBoost Drive 4GX. Highly recommend it.